Um, so I've actually changed a few things now, which I'm going to show you. And the main thing that I've changed is instead of keeping the IPA or resin away um, in directly in the ultrasonic cleaner, um, I've now switched to putting everything into a Mylor um, Ziploc bag. So these are really, really fantastic. So my setup now is that I have my resin away or IPA in these bags and these seal really well and they're really quite tough so don't use the plastic zip ziplock bags because they will actually you'll get holes in them in, in like a couple of uses and they'll start leaking everywhere if they're just crap these um, I guess you can call aluminium um, and plastic Ziploc bags, they're super super tough and you can put them directly into the ultrasonic cleaner like what I've done here this is just water basically and then you've got your uh, IPA or resin away in here and just a little alligator clip as well that's it so these things if you're not familiar with them they're basically like a plastic Ziploc bag, a sandwich bag but they're very very tough um, they probably go for about two or three dollars each or you buy them on eBay in like packs of ten and they're like ten bucks and they're really cheap and the great thing about these is they can stand up on themselves so if you open them up and if you take a look sorry so if you open them up like that it's, it can actually stand up by itself. Once you put the IPA inside, it basically just sits in your ultrasonic cleaner super easily. Doesn't flop around anywhere like a Ziploc plastic bag. So these by far have been the best solution that I've uh, come across. Um, previously before I was trying to use Pyrex glass with a plastic lid. That didn't work quite as good because obviously the ultrasonic cleaner has to work through this thick glass and uh, it took a lot longer for the parts to clean plus the, the plastic cover started to melt from the resin away and the IPA as well will gradually start eating away at the plastic so I'm using just this Pyrex glass to do my first pre-wash scrub down and this is uh, my, my pre-wash bag once I've done that, I will transfer the part inside to my main bag, which is sitting in the ultrasonic cleaner. So that's it guys, that's the tip for today. Go and grab a handful of these guys. They are called aluminium uh, ziplock bags or mylar bags. And they're, they're really easy to find, you won't, you won't have a hard time finding these and they seal up as well but alligator clip folded over itself also works great um, so yeah give that a try forget the forget the glass forget the plastic don't put your IPA or resin away straight in the U US cleaner it just causes too much fumes and the danger is still there if you're putting IPA into your ultrasonic cleaner you know the danger is still there that it might catch on fire and basically explode not worth it a couple of dollars get yourself one of these and you know it'll be a lot safer so good luck and happy printing